Pisces and welcome back to the channel Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. For those of you who are new, my name is Dee. Thank you guys for so much for checking out the channel. Hopefully you like the content and decide to hit the subscribe button. For those of you who are returning, super, super thank you for all of your continued love and support of the channel, you guys. It is greatly appreciated. This is going to be your mid-month, mid-May energy reading. So for Pisces, uh, wherever you have it in your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, this is for you. Um, also, if you are a cross-watcher involved with a Pisces, this is for you as well, okay? Please keep in mind that the messages are very general, you guys, so it may or may not resonate with you. Feel free to check out any of your other placements um, here on my channel, okay? So you have the second chakra popping out here, Pisces. Um, about what you feel, what you want, your desires, okay, what you want. So, hmm, let's see. I always get like a childlike energy with this card. So maybe you're feeling or wanting to um, kind of incorporate more fun in your life, okay? That could be something or something dealing with your children, possibly. We have Arrest and Rejuvenate that came out next. In the heart of your reading, you have indecision, okay? So needing to make a choice, indecisive about something here. Family is the next card out, okay? So possibly wanting, I'm here like family vacation. So you guys, yeah, with Rest and Rejuvenate too, maybe you're trying to figure out where you want to go for a family vacation um, or how you, or wanting to spend some time, more time with family. I'm also hearing family reunion, okay? And then we have adjacent possibilities. Some of you guys are moving or, or trying to figure out where you want to move, where, not why, but where or how or when you're going to move here. Something, something is changing in your family dynamic. I'm heavily getting moving, okay? At the bottom of the deck, we have door to personal healing and happiness. Um, I think Taurus just had this. So you could be dealing with Taurus or have Taurus highly aspected in your chart, okay? Does not have to be that way. But I feel like you're exploring some sort of possibilities here with your family. Possibly wanting to do more for your family, provide more. It's just something you want to expand, okay? Heavy um, feeling of like wanting to um, be around your loved ones at this time, okay? Four of Swords is at the bottom of the deck when I pick it up. So... This is you contemplating, possibly not speaking on this right now because you're indecisive, which is showing up in the middle. All right, I just saw the four cups. So now you get four, 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 okay? Something about four is, is significant for you. Maybe the month of April, just the number four, okay? You could have a family of four or you could be trying to conceive. It's also what I'm getting here. Four of swords again at the bottom of the deck. Aquarius card, star card. I'm getting heavy, like a heavy energy of children. It's also children in this card here. Something um, revolving around your kids or wanting kids or something like that. Something's going on with children for the end of May. All right, what else do we have for Pisces? What other messages, spirit, do we have for Pisces? Ooh, for mid May. Okay, so that was a lot. So we do have the Five of Pentacles. All right, the High Priestess here, which also has a child. Um, and then judgment, eight of wands, page of cups, something about a child. I don't know if it's a water sign child. I'm going to do another shelf for you guys because those cards just kind of flew out sporadically here. Temperance card. So this is peace and harmony. You trying to um, establish some sort of boundaries, queen of cups in regards to your emotions. I feel like you guys are just feeling very emotional. Okay. Mid May, end of May. What do we have for Pisces? I said y'all emotion and now y'all want to talk. What do we have for Pisces for mid-May? Okay, so I'll take it. We have the Ten of Cups that popped out here, okay? Um, and this is, again, this is a family dynamic. Look, y'all got the Ten of Cups and you got the Happy Family card. This is the same energy. All right, you can't tell me kids or family. Something dealing with family is going on for you guys. The Magician card came out next. This is Gemini Virgo um, Energy Clarifying Rest and Rejuvenate. Maybe you're trying to you're trying to make a decision. You're trying to make the right decision, figure out what's the right decision, what's the right move for your family. Okay. Um, or you're trying to manifest again some sort of rest, some sort of vacation. In the heart of the reading, we have the death card, okay? And that's clarifying indecision. 
So something is something is ending here. You're making the decision to let go of something or to end something or to restart something or to change. It's just transformation to do something different here. It's what you're trying to figure out which way to go, how to approach it. Seven of Wands with happy family. So I do see you um, making some sort of definitive decision here. I do feel, see you feeling very confident in regards to whatever you de whatever decision you make. Ooh, I can't talk. Whatever decision you decide to make in regards to your family or a community. It could be, I guess, maybe a friend circle. Um, a fire sign could be significant. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, possibly an Aries because the number four, the month of April keeps popping up here. And then you have the Eight of Cups. What's going on, Pisces? I feel like you're kind of like stressing yourself out in regards to these different options or choices or needing to make a decision here. What would have come out after the Eight of Cups? Two of Swords. Yeah, needing to make a decision or needing to cut something out, not wanting to. It's kind of like you're feeling down about moving forward or switching something up like you don't want to have to do this or make this decision here but it's inevitable because we have the death card okay justice would have come next Libra towards energy strength yeah and then the hierophant so i feel like whatever this decision is nine of swords came after that it could be involving a taurus or leo or libra um or just a commitment or a marriage but i feel like you're trying to find the strength to make a decision in regards to a commitment a relationship here but it's not something you want to do. It's really stressing you out with the Nine of Swords, Knight of Cups, and then the Ace of Swords, and then the Judgment. Like something is in inevitable here. Something is like within due time, something is bound to kind of transition, transform. Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So you could have... Um, you could be dealing with the earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or you could have earth heavily aspected in your chart, or this is just the energy you are in because it's crowning the reading. So something's missing here. I don't know if it's in regards to your finances or love or what, but some sort of stability of foundation is not exactly how you want it to be, okay? I feel like finances could be doing good for you, but something in regards to your family is kind of dimming the light on the stability you do have or the financial gains you do have three of pentacles reconciliation will of fortune some of you guys you're having issues um either in a relationship in a marriage or with family members or friends something dealing with people who are close to you there's some sort of issue here okay because you're wanting to reconcile with this queen of pentacles and this um three of cups here you're wanting to reconcile okay heavily thinking about it will of fortune star card and then the ace of cups okay and temperance all right and six of swords wanting to move forward it's like you're wanting you're hoping you're wishing for a turnaround in the situation like you just really are desiring something to work out or something to come together someone a dynamic to kind of just regenerate here hmm. okay let's go to the psychic oracle deck for you guys pisces all right so we do have the authority card at the bottom of the deck right off the bat this is aries taurus energy all about taking control um this also could be someone in your environment who is a little controlling or a little stubborn then we have the sacral chakra so this you got the sacral chakra twice now. Something he is heavily um, attached to your emotions, all right? Your gut, your gut feeling, your wants, your desires. I feel like this energy is kind of trumping. Again, I feel like your, your emotions is all over the place. Like whatever's going on is kind of overpowering or trumping everything else in your life. And you can't really focus on anything else but this, whatever it is for you. So we have Passion Ignited that came out here. Um... Yeah, like you're wanting, you're wanting some sort of passion to be reignited is what I'm getting here in a relationship, in a family dynamic, in some sort of group setting, possibly. Then you have material, spiritual prosperity. That's what you're trying to manifest, okay? You could be heavily medita meditating or working on yourself or just in deep thought in regards to how to turn around a situation i feel like make it victorious all right a fire sign could be significant i'm getting heavy leo um aries sagittarius does not have to be it's not going to resonate for everyone 
but we have victory and success here okay this is in the heart of your reading with indecision and the death card so you're hoping that whatever decision you make is going to be the the best decision for you um i'm kind of feeling like unfortunately like whatever decision you make it's not going to make everybody happy like something's going to end a part of you is going to end or a connection or attachment with somebody is going to end but i feel like you're going to be victorious double six is here now intuition okay intuition is clarifying the happy family and the seven of wands you having the confidence you standing up for yourself you're going to be following your intuition in regards to whatever this family situation is in regards to whatever you're feeling heavily emotional about right now okay i feel like you also see something very differently very clearly now you're standing up for yourself or someone you care about what's next foundation and achievements this is yet the third family card you guys have had come out here something about the number four this is also number four like your your home dynamic or your your family something very close and near and dear to you your children a relationship a marriage is taking over this whole entire reading and i feel like you're you're feeling troubled because you don't you're trying to figure out what's the best decision um what's the best decision for you for your children maybe your child at the bottom of the deck we have new beginnings there's your answer a new beginning okay possibly a clean slate or just starting over that's also the energy of the death card the death and rebirth okay oh something's um there's a cycle closing out for you guys um mid-may towards the end of may i feel like a lot of you guys are making the decision to walk away from something here because this new beginnings, okay, the world is ahead of her, the door is behind her, and it's shut. So you are completely closing out a cycle, a situation, a relationship. Again, the death card is here, so something is inevitable. Um, I don't know, but I feel like you want a reconciliation, okay? Solitude, yeah, destiny. It's kind of like you're choosing yourself. You're going to go in um, deep hermit mode, solitude, so you can be aligned with your destiny and kind of really figure out what's best for you. Hope, balance, spiritual growth deception and envy shadow temptation okay so i feel like something or someone could be tempting you to make a decision that's not so best for you but there's a heavy need for you to listen to your intuition um let me clarify this death card i kind of want to clarify what is it let me clarify indecision like what are you indecisive about i do see the high priestess here which is pisces energy okay and it's about you following your intuition then i see the three of swords here as well hold on one second pisces okay sorry about that pisces um so i was about to clarify the indecision card and the death card for you guys but i had a slight interruption a phone call that interrupted the video um so again i'm picking up on the energy of something or someone trying to like sway your decision here or interfere with your decision um a decision that you feel or know is best for you so be on the lookout for that you could be receiving a call or a message for, from someone that is trying to do that okay we are entering the period of mercury um retrograde so it could be someone from your past coming up or trying to distract you or deter you and we have the six of cups that literally just popped over when I said that, um, so water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, okay, indecisive. So you could be indecisive about your past or someone you have a history with or a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio, three of wands. Yeah, you're indecisive about moving forward or detaching yourself, leaving the past in the past with this death card. Yep, king of pentacles, okay. In regards to a Virgo Taurus Capricorn or um, some sort of like dominant figure, could be a husband in your situation, um, or maybe you're indecisive about money. I feel like this is a person though. Then you have the King of Cups. So some of you guys are indecisive about two people. It's two kings here, okay? Fire, um, not fire, I'm sorry. You have water energy and earth energy. So moving forward, okay? um maybe moving away from a, a a earth sign to a water sign or trying to make a decision it's, it's like something you're trying to figure out if something's not stable here okay this is someone that again is a part of your family um a relationship something but you're indecisive as to i don't know if something is really good for you if someone really loves you possibly ace of cups after the king of cups 
Maybe you feel like someone is manipulating you, emotionally manipulating you. Two of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, okay? Still that energy of, um, I think Taurus had this. So you could be dealing with the Taurus. That indecisive energy, okay? Trying to balance something out. What is this death card for Pisces? I just saw the Ten of Swords, but it didn't um, flip over. We do have the Nine of Cups here, okay? So I feel like whatever this is that is ending or you're kind of feeling pulled to um, intuitively or forced to end is something that was once a wish fulfillment for you or something that makes you very happy or more than one person is involved here. So that's why you're indecisive as to what decision to make next. We have the eight of swords clarifying the death card, the eight of pentacles, double A here, and then the five of swords and then the empress. Um, hmm. You could be heavily focusing on your work, okay, or working on something, working on yourself, trying to avoid whatever this is um, affecting you emotionally right now, okay? Double eights. The month of August could be significant, okay? Um, at the bottom of the deck, we have the seven of wands. So whatever it is that you're feeling intuitively pulled to end or detach from or change, you're going to do it. But it's just such a hard decision for some reason. Eight of swords being trapped in your head, okay? This is you against you. You holding yourself back. You not wanting to end this to death this, okay? Um, but it's kind of like, it's I'm feeling like a heavy weight on your shoulders, like you're overworking yourself, you're overthinking the situation, you could be having headaches, okay, it could be other people involved that are like in your ear about this as well, Taurus, um, Libra energy here too, some of you guys um, are trying to conceive or maybe you're finding out that you are pregnant here, okay, some of you guys are trying to figure out what to do about a pregnancy. That's straight up what I'm getting here too. Ace of Swords. You're trying to figure out what to do. A definitive answer. Okay. Heavy Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy popping up in your reading. Queen of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, Moon card, Chariot. What's going on? Seven of Swords, Wheel of Fortune. Okay. All right, Pisces. I'm going to leave it here. Um... You know what? I don't even feel comfortable leaving it here for you guys. Let me just pull some advice. I'm feeling feeling pulled to get some advice for you guys because something is just very emotional for you in the um, end of May, mid-May. What advice do we have for Pisces? Okay. Six of Wands. Okay. To so stand up for yourself. King of Wands, possibly stand up to a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, King of Wands, and then the Devil card. This devil is popping out for everybody, okay? I feel like this devil is some sort of energy you detach from or some sort of toxic energy you need to detach from. I feel like this is just something you've been dealing with or someone from your past. Be the bigger person. Overcome whoever this, somebody's trying to tempt you. I don't know if somebody's trying to tempt you, like if you're involved romantically with someone and someone else is trying to tempt you or someone is trying to tempt your person, okay? Eight of Wands, communication is coming in. Some card, somebody's like trying to communicate with you and promise you this happiness or something, this reconciliation, this celebration, but it's a it's coming from a low vibration here, okay? So, I mean, your advice would be to King of Swords, be completely cold with this person, completely cut off, completely strict, make the decision that's best for you to stand your ground and to not look back, okay? That's what I have for you, Pisces. Hopefully, you find some clarity in this reading. Um, if this is your story, please leave me a comment below letting me know how. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, you guys.